We're going to use Dreamweaver as our text editor in this class. Dreamweaver comes with a lot of functionality that we're probably not going to use. So let's go and set up Dreamweaver the way that it's going to work best for us. Let's start by creating a new empty HTML document. After you've done that, you'll notice that the screen is very blank right here. What I want you to look at is this button right here. You can see that design is selected. We are never going to use this view in class, so you might as well forget that it exists. What I want us to use is the code view right here. So click on that, and now you can see our HTML code. The next thing you'll notice about Dreamweaver is all these panels on the sides and the bottom. We're going to use only the files one down here. This is the only one we're going to use. So what I'd like you to do is just go ahead and remove all of them except for the files. If you click on their name here and drag them out, you can see they get an X. So just go through all these and close them. Remember, we do want to keep files, though. OK, so Dreamweaver looks right now. And the next thing I want you to do is go to the View menu right here. And I want you to go to Code View Options, Hidden Characters. So when we turn these on, you'll notice there's a couple other things that show up on screen. Right here, you can see it right here, there's these little characters. You can see in between the words here, there's these little characters. The hidden characters now allow us to see where we hit enter or where we hit space or tab, and it allows us to organize our code a little bit better. The next thing is the font that Dreamweaver has chosen right here for our code isn't that great. So let's go in and let's change the options for that. I want you to go to the Dreamweaver menu and go to Preferences. The first thing we want to do is go to Code Coloring here. Now, we have those hidden characters, but the color is really dark. So let's change the color here to a lighter gray. I'm going to go with the CCC color. Now they won't be as noticeable on the screen. They won't draw your attention. That's much better. The next thing we want to do is go to Code Format. You'll notice over here, under this indent line, you can choose either tabs or spaces as a way of indenting. Choosing tabs or spaces is really just a personal preference. We like to indent our code because it keeps it more organized. Dreamweaver, unfortunately, doesn't handle spaces very well. So let's change to tabs. And we're going to change this number 2 here to a number 1. The next thing we want to do is change the font. I don't personally like the default font there, so I'm going to go to fonts and I'm going to change it. I'm going to click Monaco here where it says that under code view, and I'm going to change it to Menlo Regular. I like that one, but you could also choose Consolis. It's nice too. Next, you could change the font size. I'm going to change mine to 14. 14. The last thing we want to do in here is go to New Document, and we want to change the default document type for HTML. You can see right here, it's choosing XHTML as the default. We don't want that. We want HTML5, so click that and choose HTML5. And press OK. So we changed our settings, but you'll notice the code view didn't get updated. It seems like there's a little bug in my copy of Dreamweaver. Hopefully, it's not in yours also. We just need to go back to the preferences and change our fonts again, and everything will work the second time for some reason. OK, there we go. That's the way we want it. Next time you open Dreamweaver, everything will be set up the way we have just set it up, and you'll be able to just use it.